this video just might save your life. Okay, maybe not. Although, if you deal with zero suicising long enough, you might go insane and do something crazy. I'm telling you. Because it makes very little sense and it changes depending on what you get. Now, fortunately, I do have a solution and it works. So, just stay with me right now. First of all, let me just say, sandals. I will be doing measurements of everything, but sandals. Just so you know, they have templates. Follow the templates, you will be fine. They're true to size according, not according to what you think your size is, but according to their website. And also for the sandals, you're supposed to go half a size down if you don't know. Many people don't know that, that they have these sandals where the, like the front of the sandal protrudes from the toes like this much and then it catches and it flips and all this stuff. No, sandals are supposed to be close to your foot and something else. I just figured out, most people will not tell you that, but the heel part of your foot goes behind what the contact part of the heel is, right? So in a shoe, because there is a limitation here because of the material, so if you have this shoe, you have the back material, so your heel goes like this, and you need a longer shoe so because it will push your foot forward. Your heel will push your foot forward. But in sandals, your heel can just hover slightly beyond the sandal. It's fine as long as the contact point of your heel is in the sandal. So you should go half a size down. Of course, you don't have half sizes. Zero doesn't have half, si half sizes when it comes to sandals. So you could go a full size down or your regular size. It's up to you. But what is your size though? That is a big, big conversation. First of all, you need to measure your fit. I don't care who you are. You're going to be like, oh, I have been buying forever. I don't have to measure my feet. I'm a size 44, 45, no matter what I put on. You're wrong. Most likely you have high volume foot. So whatever you wear could be much larger than you need, but it feels fine to you. But then eventually you get blisters and all this stuff and you complain about the shoe. You need to measure your feet. Just get a blank A4 paper. Put your foot on the paper. Stand up so your foot splays and expands. And then you're gonna draw a line. Like vertical, front of your toe. Vertical, back of your heel. It has to be vertical in front of your foot. Not the contact. You not go like this to go to the contact point of the foot. No, just vertical in front. That's what the space you need because shoes are closed. So you need space left and right back and front. So, you measure your feet. What you need, find your longest foot and then you need one centimeter of space, one to one and a half centimeters of space. That depends personal preference, foot volume, all kinds of things, right? Shape of the actual shoe, whatever. Obviously, measurements are gonna be centimeters, inches, it's just impossible, I'm not gonna do that. So just centimeters, nice and simple. Half a size generally is half a centimeter. Nice and simple. So, how do you start to figure out what size you are? Zero will not provide measurements. They will say, just go through to size. And you will be like, why don't you just tell me how long the shoe is? Because measurements is length and width. But length is standard measurement. Like, almost all companies have length measurements for the, for the shoes. Except, of course, for zero. No. They're like, you don't need that. Um, zero CEO is like... Um, sizing is subjective. Some people like the toes to be close to the front, some others further back, wide feet, whatever, narrow feet. Yes, but you need a basis to measure your freaking like size. You need a basis. Subjective doesn't mean anything. I'm a size, I have discovered I'm a size 44 in barefoot shoes. Like Vivos 44, zeros, most zeros 44, whatever. In regular shoes, sports shoes, I'm a size 45. Sometimes I'm a size 44.5, sometimes I'm a size 45.5. My Timberlands that I sold, 43.5, and they were slightly big. Hiking boots, 43.5 or 44. It depends. And also the scales change all the time. Some people will say 43.5 is 9.5 UK, or 43.5 is 9 UK, whatever, or US, or whatever. It just changes. There is no one size. There is an approximate size. For me, in barefoot shoes, it would be 44. Apparently, from what I've seen, but for example, the Wheatings, oh, I got the Wheatings, the cheap ones, I'm gonna show you the like, next video, they're actually size 45, because 44 was fine lengthwise, but the width was not good enough, so it has to go like 45. So, measure your feet, 
then we can talk. Otherwise, I cannot help you if you don't know how long your food is. I just don't, can't. I will not tell you to go true to size because I wear 44 in barefoot. My true to size is 44.5 to 45. But those should have been maybe slightly larger, whatever. So, we go to Zero Sue's website. What do you see? You see the scale. I'm not sure you will focus. It doesn't have to, whatever. It's going to be in the video. What I did initially is that I took the JP sizes, which is the Japanese sizes, and I used that as a centimeter sizing. Of course, customer service said Japanese sizing is not centimeter sizing, but of course it is. That's the point. All the time, Japanese sizing is centimeter sizing, or at least most, most of the time. In this case, quick tip how to figure out your sizing. Again, we said you need one centimeter extra or 1.5, whatever, depends on preference. I need one centimeter extra. So my longest foot is 27.5 centimeters. So I need a 28.5 centimeter shoe if there are half sizes. Otherwise, I need 29 or 28.8. Like that's how it usually goes. In this case, 28.5, which is what I need in Japanese, would be 43.5 in euro sizing or 10.5 us or 9.5 uk that is accurate for some hiking boots that is not accurate for zero shoes sports shoes 28.5 is usually 44.5 so the simple thing you can do after i've measured everything and i will show you and i knew actually actually knew the measurements have gone to the point i've tried so many shoes just i i know what the measurement is when i put the shoe on and just measuring them now and uh, pretty much spot on so you need to go you need to add you need to subtract half a centimeter from the japanese sizing so a 43.5 is not 28.5 centimeters long it is 28 centimeters long so they're half a centimeter smaller than they would be if the japanese sizing was accurate as far as centimeters go so let's say you need a 28.5 centimeter shoe like I do. So you measure your feet, they are 27.5. You're like, okay, add one centimeter, 28.5. What size do I get from zero shoes? You're gonna get not a 43.5, you're gonna get a 44. Because the 43.5 is not 28.5, it's actually 28, right? So you will go to a 44, which is not a 29, as it says on JP. It is a 28.5. So this is my sizing in zeros. 44. However, that doesn't mean much because sizing changes. Example, sandals. Different sizing altogether. They have templates, use them. Sandals are actually accurate. So that is a size 43. Not a size 44. You know why? Because a size 43 is 28 centimeters. Just like in the JP sizing. So that's accurate. So you're like, you said you needed 28.5 centimeters. Yes, but I said sandals go half a centimeter less. So I wanted a 28, right? And those are 28. So for me, the best, they're, they're perfect. They are what they should be. Maybe I could go to 28.5, but they do not do half sizes. And if I go up, like I did on my first pair with size 44, that's too big because that's 29 centimeters. 29 centimeters I can barely wear in closed shoes. In sandals, too big, it would cut, it was cutting on the front. Just way too big. My foot was swimming. Not a good fit. So sandals are accurate to the template and to the JP sizing. This, if I measure it to the point. What the Okay, yeah. If I measurement, if I measure it, it's gonna be 28 at the edge. Of course, when it flexes, it's going to be a little bigger. So yeah, it's approximately 28 centimeters. Again, sizing cannot be extremely accurate when it comes to centimeters because it depends on how the shoe flexes, right? Doesn't mean you shouldn't have a sizing guide with centimeters. Of course, you should. That's what everybody does. And so that's why I know that I should always order 44 in barefoot shoes because as I just go on the website and I see that 28.5 or 28.8, something like that, is a 44. So I get that. And it works. With those guys, I have to go to the JB sizing and add, actually subtract half a centimeter so I can figure out, right? So, sandals are accurate. Shoes. 
Now, let me just... Okay. It's a face. They say it runs small. So go half a size up. I did not go half a size up. Actually, I did because I thought my size was 43.5. I got a 44. Apparently, my size is 44. I should have gone for 44.5. Probably, but it's... The thing is, the size, like when it says it runs small on the HFS, it just means length. It is a bit short. This measured insole is about 28.3. Whatever, it's a bit short. I cannot take it out, I don't know why. A bit short, doesn't matter. It's Sometimes my toes kind of hit it, but it's just a bit short. You can go half a size up if you want to. If you have high, high volume feet. I don't I actually have to put on elastic laces because I was swimming around and hitting the front at the same time. Zero, zero shoes are very wide, very loose fit. If you have low volume fit, they do not work very well. So yeah, elastic laces, 44, it is what it is. Now, Mesa 1. It also said, go half a size up because it runs short. No, Mesa 1 actually runs full size smaller. Why? Because of this design here. Look how stubby the front is. It is very, it's a very short foot. So it's a very short shoe. If you compare this to, this is a 44.5. I had to exchange again. This is a 44. Basically same length when it comes to the insole. Like basically, maybe it's, this is like half, like one millimeter longer, whatever. Basically, like so, this runs very very slightly smaller this runs very small and maybe you don't care because the mesa 2 is out mesa 2 i could tell for the pic from the pictures you can like to look at them it is not as stubby as this it's actually longer more flat and what do you know i asked them and i see on the website it says it runs through to size so mesa 2 you don't have to go uh, half a size or a full size up should be fine with the regular sizing mesa 1 though it's no clearance i'm not sure if there are still uh, sizes left, but it's on clearance. So Mesa 1, you have to go full size up, in my opinion. And then you have this guy right here. Very unfortunate sizing. They say it runs through to size. Length, it does. It does actually run through to size. This is size 44. It is a 28.5 centimeter insole at the point where it, the insole bends, right? That's how you have to uh, like measure it. But, look at the design. Unfortunate heel design. I've seen it in other shoes too. The heel goes much further back than the rest of the body of the shoe. Which means your foot will not get in here. Get in here. So, this part of the shoe is wasted when it comes to the measurement. Which means you need a longer shoe than you would normally need. Because that's a 28.5. However, because my foot will not go all the way back because this part is further front than this part it will not go all the way back so i'm losing distance here and i have to go half a centimeter to a full centimeter longer because in this size 44 which is supposed to run through to size my toes hit big time the front they like they almost climb on it so maybe i need to actually go like a full size up not even half a size up but then they're going to be way too big and I'm going to be swimming. So I'm going to try half a size up. So this is a 44. This is a 44. On the website, it's a face run small. But it's actually more spacious than the 44 on the Alpine, which is supposed to run through to size because of this. Because your heel will go here. So your fo whole foot will be pushed forward from by this part. And this part, the back side, the back side of the shoe, you cannot use. So you need to go up. Otherwise, you're going to hit the front. Unless you have short toes or whatever. Very unfortunate. So now I have to suffer and I have to, like, again, arrange the return. Of course, zero customer service. Probably the best in the business, I have to say this. We arranged some crazy things. They were like, um, because I'm way beyond the return period. But they were like, yeah, we'll do this for you. But you have to pay for shipping. But then I'm like, I don't, I cannot ship them back to you. I don't have a way. Your companies only offer express shipping for abroad and it costs like hundreds of euros like 300 euros they're like okay, uh, like can i just do a regular gls pickup send them back and then you can sub subtract the shipping and then we we'll arrange it and yeah i will be they will be not they will not be refunding the original shipping so i will be paying a bit extra but it is what it is 
not my fault because sizing with zero is just extremely regular but it is what it is so whatever at least they have customer service that you can actually talk with because other customer services are like oh this is a policy fuck off yeah that, not with zero zero will actually try to help you out very important but again they have to because the sizing oh my god they like nothing makes sense you know sandals have their own sizing altogether these guys are a full size smaller while they should be half a size smaller because of the stubby like toe guard here that you're gonna jam your toes these guys are supposed to go half a size smaller but they're more of like a quarter of a size smaller when it comes to length that's all that changes and these guys are supposed to go through the size but they're actually half a size smaller because of the heel design so i don't know what to tell you and also by the way from 44 to 44.5 width was basically the same fit it's just a bit longer but the measurement the, like i measured them and again they're a bit short maybe but they should work so i'm gonna keep them i just i'm just so tired of exchanging and you know the thing is with gls pickup like vivo what they do is like you can just do dhl point you can just get the shoes there and leave with those guys gls they're gonna work with a local courier you have no tracking number no nothing you just have to hope they show up there is no way to trace the pickup so you just have to hope and wait in your house all day until they show up and you can give them the shoes and you can take them, take them, take them back that's annoying but they said they will change that soon we'll see how it goes so yeah to summarize measure your feet add a centimeter that's how you know your true size my true size is 28.5 i don't have width measurements because barefoot shoes doesn't actually matter because they're very wide anyway you should be fine with the width but again my size is 28.5 centimeters most barefoot shoes that is a size 44 zeros it's also a size 44 HFS runs slightly small, I'm fine with 44, I could have gone to 44.5 Mesa's, Mesa 1, full size smaller I had to go 44.5, I could have gone to 45, whatever That's debatable And Alpines, they're supposed to run through to size, but they don't I had to go 44.5 instead of 44 And again, you get your measurement, you're gonna go to the sizing page on zero website you're going to look at the jp sizes you're going to find the number and add or rather subtract half a centimeter so 28.5 i should be able to get it 43.5 but i know that it actually is a 28 not 28.5 so i have to go half a size up i have to get a 45 44 because 44 is 29 in jp sizes but in reality it's 28.5 so this is my size, 28.45, I have to go 44 because it's 28.45 and not 29 as it says on the JP sizes. I don't know how to put it to you. So yeah, enjoy your new Zero Suits this holiday season, hopefully with accurate sizes. So whenever you see go half a size down or go half a size up, just add half a centimeter. That's how it goes. Half size, half centimeter, full size, one centimeter. That's how it works. And sandals get the templates they run through to the jp sizing so 28.5 is indeed 43.5 but it doesn't exist because they don't have half sizes in sandals so you got 28 in my case which is a 43 right so that's it for now 43 on the sandals 44 on the rest 44.5 on the ones that run small that's simple gonna see the next one i have all kinds of videos field grounds Within, by the way, field grounds, winter boots were not waterproof in my case. Probably construction issue, we'll see. But yeah, within the chip shoes, and I have some very cool vivos coming up and have some testing. And I want to talk about some things like some myths like natural surfaces are so good for your feet and concrete is so bad. And you need boots to go hiking at the beach and all kinds of stupid shit. I don't know what they're going to see you in the next one. See ya.